Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're in Design Space and we are on desktop and for this it doesn't matter whether you're using a Windows desktop or a Mac, it's the same for what we're doing today and today I'm going to show you how you can select multiple layers. So I've got an image here, this is a Design Space image, it's one of Kat Madeira's. She is actually one of my favourite um, designers at the moment. I just think her stuff is really colourful and she's got a nice variety as well. Always check out uh, the Design Space designers because there's some great ones and they have some really great images. Now it's currently grouped together so if I click on it on the canvas it's going to select every layer and I always know which layers are selected in my layers panel because they will always go a darker grey. So whilst it's grouped, I cannot select an individual layer by using my canvas, but I can select it by using my layers panel. Now if I ungroup my image, it's going to separate each of those layers so that I can then use my canvas to actually click on them. And that works great unless there are layers that infringe on the space of other layers. And then, for example, if I want to try and get this green layer here, I can't actually select it on my canvas because this pink layer is infringing on that space. So the only way for me to select it is to use my layers panel. I can also select multiple layers. So I can either draw around and just try and get two layers like so, but again, that can be a little bit tricky. Or if I go across to my layers panel and I hold down my shift key on my keyboard, I can easily select multiple layers. So again, all I need to do is go over to my layers panel, hold down my shift key, and I can then select the specific layers that I want to. I can also hide my layers, so I can use the eye icon in my layers panel to hide them. And again, if I hide this pink layer and bring back the green one, it then makes it easier for me to select that layer using my canvas. And of course, when I unhide the layer, it comes back in its exact same position. So the hide is really great for if you're doing things like slicing, contouring, or you want to select a specific part of an image without moving your layers around. Always use your layers panel because it will make your life a lot easier. So again, to select specific layers, if it's ungrouped, we can use our canvas to select two layers. We can also use our layers panel and hold down our shift key to select our specific layers. And as I say, don't forget that you can use the hide icon to make it easier to use your canvas to select specific layers. And finally, don't forget that you'll always know that layers are selected because they will go a darker gray in the layers panel. Your layers panel is your best friend in design space, especially if you are making changes. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.